Yellow cabs are about to cost more. More green. Mm -hmm. More there green, which will make you blue. The Taxing Limousine Commission voted unanimously this week to approve a nearly 23% rate hike. It's the first increase in 10 years. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon heard from riders in Midtown. Maybe it's good for them, but it ain't good for me. <laughs> I'm a regular working person. For the first time in a long time, it'll cost more to take a yellow cab in the city. I'm never happy about an increase, but I believe they probably deserve it. With the price of gas and the traffic and the amount of time it takes them to get around, I agree also. On Tuesday, the Taxi and Limousine Commission unanimously voted to raise metered fares by 23 percent. And with that, the rules adopted unanimously. A TLC representative says their data shows a supply and demand imbalance. If drivers were paid more, then there would be more of a financial incentive for drivers to get back on the road, for medallion owners to put their vehicles on the road, and for garages to get the vehicles back on the road. The hikes are expected to go into effect before the end of the year. It's going to be a headache. I appreciate having the ride when I need it. I know that we have an inflationary environment. Uh, costs are rising for everyone, and tax drivers are no different. While cab riders are mixed on the rate hikes, cab drivers say it's a necessity to survive. We were desperately looking for this race for so long. It's overdue. It's way, way overdue. Mohamedou has been a cabbie in the city for 21 years. Now we will be able to go to work, go back home, be capable of putting food on the table. There is concern that with cab drivers making more, costs could go up. It all depends on the garages. When they are raising it, they are also raising the lease. Lease prices have gone up in recent years. The TLC also voted to raise the nighttime surcharge, the cost of going to and from area airports, and they also voted to raise the hourly wages of Uber, Lyft, and other app-based drivers. In Midtown, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News.